Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic array. I will start off by showing you the most common error, and then I will show you two dynamic ways to create an array of integers. In this video, we are going to learn how to declare an array of integers. Let's start off with this first program. And notice this first one is perfect world. Don't you wish you could say count 10 and then an array of count? Well, this right here is illegal. You can't do this. I can't compile this. And notice it's telling me that this uh, underscore shows the error. So this right here, you cannot do that. In this example, we are going to be using the malloc command to actually go and allocate memory off the heap for us. Now, a lot of times people hear a heap and they don't know what to think of that. And all that really is, is it's a part of memory where we store our variables. That's all that means. So here I have 10. I'm going to send 10 and the size of n. So 10 times 4 is 40. So malloc is going to go and get 40 bytes off the heap. Then it is going to have the return value. It is going to be the pointer to where this memory begins. That's all that means. Then I'm going to go through there and initialize that to negative one. But let's put a breakpoint on line 21 here. And notice when this runs and I go get that malloc command, notice its values over here in this side windows. It's negative 842 blah, blah, blah. That's a bunch of junk. We need to go through there and initialize that memory. I'll uh, meet you on line 27. Once I initialize it, notice I've set everything to negative 1. That's the value I wanted. I could have put anything here, 0, minus 100, whatever. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show the contents of this to the screen. Notice right now the screen is blank. Whenever we pass around arrays, you need to pass two things. The address to where that memory starts and how many there is. So here I'm passing in 6050, that first element and I'll be passing in 10. Let's do that. F11, I'm in it. Notice that I've got my array of pointers. Look at that, 60, 50. And then I'm going to be looping around that and we're going to see what's going on here. So notice the variables are coming out over here. And let me pause for a moment. Notice the base address was 60, 50. It's all of these numbers. I'm just going to say the last four. And then we can see that it increments by four. So 50 goes to 54, 54 goes to 58. And because this is hexadecimal, so 58, 59, there is no 60 that is, would be called 5A, B, and C. And that is how that increments. So here you can see I'm printing the contents out, the negative one, and the address. The content goes in this percent %D, and the address of where it's in memory is percent %P. Let's continue. I'll meet you on line 12. And we're done. We've got uh, all 10 items. And once I'm back to my program, remember, whenever we use the malloc command, we've got to use the free command. So this gets memory off the heap. This gives it back. Let somebody else use it. Don't be greedy. There you go. F10, we're done. In this example, we're going to build another type of array and we're going to use the function called calloc. calloc is a little different than the malloc because calloc will initialize the values to zero. So notice here we send in our count, count as 10 and the size of integer. This will also create us a 40 byte memory access. It will return the base address and we will assign that to R. Pretty simple. Then on our show all method, remember, arrays two things, the base array and the number of elements. I'll meet you on line 22, F10. And look at over here, our array, when it was used by calloc initialize, all the values are zero. Now F11 gets me in there. I'm going to loop over the data and all the values are zero. I'm going to meet you at 12. And we are done. F11 gets us back. Now remember, whenever we use malloc or calloc, we have to use the free command. Have to give it back. Where did this come from? It came from the heap. 
What are we doing at free? We're releasing it. We're like letting the Calic command say, hey, this is available for us to use. And there you have it, F10, and we are done.